So guys, the new GTA Online event week has just dropped and throughout the rest of this video, I will show you all of the different features and changes. So to begin with, this event week will be lasting until July 10th and of course, we'll celebrate the Independence Day in Los Santos. If you guys log in anytime this week, you will receive a trio of themed bucket hats. You can also enjoy three times rewards on the mobile operation missions and complete the podium robbery to claim a star spangled Karen ball. But now to really start this event week, the drip fed vehicle called the Overflood Pepistrello, which has already been released for GTA Plus members, is finally out for everyone. Now from what I have seen, this doesn't really have any HSW features or Armani Tech features. It is just a standard supercar, but in my opinion, I still think it looks pretty cool. Now of course for the login unlocks, if you guys log in anytime this week, you can receive the Fireworks Bucket Hat, the Stars and Stripes Bucket Hat, and the Lady Liberty Bucket Hat, which of course we sort of went over at the start of the video. Alongside this, there is also some returning business battle drops. This will include the Pisswasser Beer Hat, Patriot Beer Hat, and Super Wet Beer Hat. And of course, the Statue of Happiness t-shirt. Altogether, these clothing unlocks are really good, so if you guys see a business battle in a public free mode session, I would definitely recommend doing it. For a new weekly challenge this week, we have this on screen. If you complete three mobile operation missions, you will receive 100 thousand dollars this weekly challenge will also tie into the triple money and rp which will be some triple money on the mobile operation missions as well it has been such a long time since i've done one of these mobile operation missions i honestly forgot that they existed but this overall will just be a great thing to do especially for that weekly challenge and moving over to the double money and the rp this week we have the running back adversary mode remix this will not be too bad to play with friends or something for some discounts though we have a 50 percent off all Independence Day themed vehicles and items and also a 50% off the USA parachute bag. Following these discounts on we have a 30% off the mobile operations center which includes its upgrades and modifications. We also have this on the Bravado Hot Ring Hellfire, the Vigero ZX Convertible, the Revolta and the Dynasty. And for our final discounts we have the Gun Van Primary discount. At the Gun Van this week you guys can get the Firework Launcher for 60% off and 7 70% off if you have a GTA Plus membership. You can also get the musket for 60% off and 70% off again. And the marksman pistol for completely free if you have the GTA Plus membership as well. For some new salvage yard robberies this week, we have the D10, which will be the top tier vehicle. So you guys will be able to make the most money from this one. The gangbanger robbery for the Bravado Buffalo STX, which is a standard tier vehicle somehow. And then the podium robbery for the Karen Bar with the Liberty City Vanity Plate. And this week it will be the claimable vehicle. However, I will probably sell this if I do do the salvage hat robberies just to make the most money. The new Lucky Wheel podium this week inside the casino is the Karen Ball as well. Now this won't have them vanity plates or something, but if you guys really want to get the Karen Ball for free, I would probably just recommend spinning the Lucky Wheel. And then for the LS Car Meet prize ride, we have the Urbear Omnis. To win this vehicle, place top five in the LS Car Meet series for two days in a row. At Simeon's Auto Shop, we have these vehicles on screen. Altogether, there are some great options here. I think some of these vehicles were removed by Rockstar quite some time ago. And then over at the Luxury Autos dealership, we have the Anis Euros X32 and the Pipistrello. And both of these vehicles are the DLC vehicles. For all of the LS Car Meet Test Track vehicles, they are on screen right now. If you guys play the next gen consoles, I would recommend trying the Niobe. And finally, for our time trials this week, we have the Premium Race, which is down the drain. The Standard Time Trial, which is Vinewood Hill. And HSW time trial, which is Sandy Shores to La Proeta. So, yeah, guys, that will be everything in this new event week. What do you guys like the most about this event? Honestly, I don't really think this event week is that good. I probably think the coolest thing about this whole event is probably the Independence Day gifts. But, anyways, guys, if you went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in some way, shape, or form, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate your support. And if you are new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. Finally, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.